we're going to do object detection with our own custom objects. Check out the GitHub link in the description below. And let's start with the Raspberry Pi. Update your packages and install Pi Camera 2. If you already have pictures of your own, you can skip this step. First, I'm starting out with gathering pictures from the Raspberry Pi. Here I'm giving the class name for the pictures, the total number of pictures I want to take, and that I want to do this on a key press. Basically, every time I press the K key, it's going to capture a picture. Should you do this for at least 100 pictures, then click the Q key to quit. Now we need to prepare our data sets. Here I have two directories, images and labels. Within them is the train and val directories, and in train I have all my pictures. Now we switch over to the Windows machine. You open up the command prompt and install label img, and also set up tools. We also need to replace two files, canvas and label img.py. Check out GitHub for instructions on where to place each file. GitHub is also where the files can be found. When we're done replacing the files, go ahead and type label img in your command prompt. This will open up a GUI interface where you can select the folder where you have your images. It should be in the datasets images train directory. Now we can see the images we took from our Raspberry Pi. Here I'll type in the class name and hit use default label. And also make sure that this is switched over to YOLO. Once you label an image, you hit the save button and save it to the same directory. We're going to move this later. To make a label, hit the W key on your keyboard. Drag until you selected the object. Hit save and save the file. Make sure it saves as .txt and not XML. Here we go next image and hit the W key again. Create the label and hit save. You should keep doing this until you labeled all your images. Then we're going to go to our datasets, images, train folder, and we're going to move all the txt files over to labels. Also, you can delete classes.txt. If you have multiple classes, you can put them all together. Here I'm putting them into labels, train. Also for val, put in 20% of images and labels in there. And make sure to delete classes.txt. Moving over to Windows Subsystem for Linux or Ubuntu. In your PowerShell, type in Ubuntu. Git clone the repository. Here I'm changing into the repository, installing libraries, installing a virtual environment and updating Ultralytics. Also activating the environment. Find config.yaml and put your username, the number of classes you have, and the names of the classes. Here I begin training of YOLO V8. This is going to take some time. I'm also training with an epochs of 1000 and a batch size of 16. If you don't have enough images or if you don't have enough epochs, it might not be able to detect the object. Once the process is complete, cd into this directory and begin the conversion to Onyx. Then go back to the root directory and deactivate the environment. Here I'm updating Ubuntu and installing Python version 3.8. Now I activate the virtual environment and install a few packages for Halo. Make sure that it's version 3.8 as that one is supported. Now I install the Halo Dataflow compiler. This can be found on the Halo developer page. And make sure to use the same version as I'm using.
and installing the Halo Model Zoo as well. Check this file for the number of classes that you have. I have only two classes. If you have more or less, update the file. Also, git clone the latest model of the Halo Model Zoo. Follow this step to create a custom TF record. Check the code and make sure to use your directories and username. Same here, check the code again, use your username and directories, and begin the parsing. After parsing is done, we can do the optimize.py script. Make sure to check the code. Check the directories and username. Now it creates a HAR file. When the HAR file is created, we compile next. This is the last step and may take a long time. Create a labels.json file with all the labels that you've created. Now we move the hef file back to our Raspberry Pi. Also the labels.json file. First we set up the environment. Then run the following command. There you have it, custom objects with custom object detection. Like and subscribe if this helped you out. Thank you.